Hey everybody, it's Brian from Carving is Fun, and I have a, a little story to do for this little tool thing here. I'm just gonna basically show you the rabbit hole that I sometimes go down whenever I get new tools to, to get. This is like over the course of a year going on here. So about a year ago, Mike from Focuser Carving got a hold of me, and he, he sent me a couple of cool uh, knives to play around with. Um, this is at the beginning of their, basically their company. They're just trying to get the, the word out of their, their products, and they sent me these. And, while they're they're nice, I had some feedback for them. Like I had I had concerns with the steel, the available edges that they had. So I just gave them some feedback, um, and they said, "Yeah, sure, sounds good. Let's work on that." So they also ended up releasing a couple more, of which I went out and bought. Again, this rabbit hole runs deep, so bear with me here. So I I bought some of their their newer line that they had, they're a significant improvement. I really like them. They were doing a good job improving from what it was before. Maybe the, the handles could have been a little bit bigger for like my bigger hands, because these did fit, fit better, but the steel was improved. But still, I wasn't ready to do like a little video on them yet. These are still pretty nice, but I was still holding out to see what else they come up with. So I'll put these up over here. Uh, get it out of there, because I need to make room. There's more to come here. So I ended up buying a few more things from them. These ones are just nicer quality blades that they came out with and a little hook knife. It's like, okay, these are pretty dang cool. I was gearing up to do another uh, little video review and then of course I saw they came out with new tools, which are their hand forged ones, which are, these are amazing. Uh, well worth the price. I'm just gonna say that right now. Handles are beautiful. The steel is wonderful and they just, they carve like a dream. So I got, I got these guys in and oh my gosh, they're so nice. Of course, then I was like, okay, I have to do a video. And then I saw that they came out with some other tools. Uh, yeah, I totally bought some more <laughs> over the course of a, over the year. And I was like, okay, this is a really nice one. Also, it's like a nice little bowl carving tool. Um, I got it in, wonderful, so happy with it. Was gonna do the video. And then oh, they made more tools and now I got some of these little palm tools with it too, which are, I'm gonna say, these are amazing. They, I'm not really a fan of like the ball ones, but these are just the right size for my hands. They fit well, they feel well uh, in the hands. Oh, so nice. So yeah, uh, over the course of a year, I, let me see if I can pan everything. I think I got like, this is all like probably about maybe $500 worth of tools. I don't know, I lost track. Um, don't tell my wife, <laughs> but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was it was a fun little journey. I got to play with all these toys. Focuser carving tools are actually quite nice for what they are. Give you some background of them. These are made in China, but they're not like your typical China stuff. They're, you'll see a lot of similarities, like maybe some of the blade shapes you'll see like similar to some flex cut ones. But I mean, they're they're good quality blades on there. Anyways, they come to you razor sharp. They have a whole variety of different tools available, different handles available as well. But the steel quality on most of their tools that we're gonna see, like this is their more popular one. Uh, I think it's the FC001 or something like that. But yeah, it's this is a really good one right here. It's got 01 tool steel, same with this guy right here, which is like a nice little Sloyd knife. Same with their hook knife. And then they have their hand forged tools, which are, was it, did you 100 uh, high carbon steel? They have that nice little hammer forged look to them. Great, great uh, tools. Keep in mind, these are high carbon, so you'll see I have a little bit of uh, rust forming here in the corner. These are stored in my garage, and I live in Florida, so humidity is there. But I can just buff that off with my power strap, so that won't be an issue. But these come super sharp, right from uh, Focuser Carving. They have a lot of different, different tools that are available. They are all flat grind, so they're very easy to maintain. I think they're affordable for what they are. Noted the hand forged ones with the high carbon steel are probably double the price of the, the standard ones, which are like, I think this one is, I'm gonna say it's, I'm gonna ballpark it around the, the 30 to $40 range. I think it depends on when you're at. Sometimes they also have sales on there. Just go right to their website, focusercarving.com. You'll, you'll see what they have available, but really, really good knives. One of the things that I do like about this company is since they are in China, they do ship worldwide and it's probably one of the better, easier to obtain tools with the worldwide shipping. So they cut through the wood really, really well. Literally right out of the box, it's nice, razor sharp. You make nice, small, thin rolls. Here we go, yep. 
I have not taken this one to my power shop or shop it at all. This is after me using it. Has great edge retention for the hand forged one. And same with the, oh, here you are. The standard ones, again, really nice. I have not taken this one to my strop. I've been using it for probably about half a year and I have not sharpened it. Note I used it lightly, but it's it holds its edge really, really well. So you can go cut deep, you can cut shallow, you can make quick little V cuts in an instant. I mean, if you want a quick comparison to it, these are probably equivalent to like flex cut for their standard ones. And then their other ones have a thicker steel to it. There is a thickness difference between the hand forged ones and the regular ones. I don't know, these remind me a bit more of like a, maybe Deepwood Ventures kind of nice with the thickness and uh, steel retention, but the handles, oh, the handles are so nice. Uh, so I'm, I'm a big fan of these, the handles for the Hammer Forged ones are more expensive, but of all the ones I got from, the Hammer Forged ones are easily my favorites, just for edge retention and how they fit in the hands. These are nice, but they are a bit slimmer for my hands, but still, the price that they sell these ones at are still really good. Again, they have a lot of different designs. Uh, this is a little itty bitty one. This is like your standard detail knife, really nice and pointy. Then you got your, like your Pelican knife kind of deal. Really good. It is a massive upgrade from the original ones that they were sending out originally. So these ones they sent to me, the test out. And I didn't make, again, I didn't make the video because I wanted to test out all their other tools first. And then like their palm tools are, I mean, these are just, they're heavy. Don't drop them on your foot, it'll hurt. They're, they're that heavy. They got some off to them. But yeah, they, they really do just like cut right through the wood very easily. Very nice, they have a nice little scoop to them. Um, so it's not like a flat grind, it's more of a, a taper to it. So you can tell these these are made with some quality to them. I am actually very impressed with them, very happy with them. This is a bit of a rambling kind of review kind of thing. But yeah, this is these tools are excellent. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you are international and you're trying to find a really good brand of tools to purchase and you're not in the United States and you don't have our consumer market available to you, which I understand we, we got a lot of stuff over here. But if you are looking for a good quality knife or carving tools, go to Focus or Carving. You're gonna have a really good selection of different types of tools you can choose from. Really guys, it's, this is probably one of the better, more international companies out there. It's not like your China stuff that you usually get that's like cheap or like 10 to $15. This is like legit real deal, good quality tool stuff. Even like their, their spoon carving stuff, it, like they literally carve right through. I have not touched this one up at all in my power shop. The only thing that you're gonna probably witness on a couple of your knives because they are shipping international is the fact that they can be handled roughly. They do ship the, a lot of the knives in their like plastic tubes and whatnot. I had this one come in, I guess it got dinged on the top. You probably might not be able to see it, but I did a little bit of work. I had a slight ding like right in here. I think it cut through the package or something like that and then it got whacked. But there's a small chip, I worked it out, it's fine still razor sharp. Like I've, I've accidentally cut myself on, on some of these when reaching in my toolbox, which reminds me, they also sell like nice little tool roll bags. They look pretty cool. They got like a little map design on the back. It's kind of cool. But yeah, seriously guys, if you are not in the US and you are looking for a good quality tool, check out Focus or Carving. You're gonna find a lot of stuff. Great price, in my opinion. And if you are in the US and you wanna try them out, seriously, give them a shot. They are a good choice. I would probably put them in my top 10 different uh, mass produced brands out there that you can get your hands on. No, they don't compare to like the hand forged ones. Maybe these ones are as close as you can get. They're still mass produced, but they're, they're still kind of handmade in a way. Another nice thing about these two is like, you can't see it in the video, but there are like flat surfaces on here. So it helps with kind of indexing a feeling in your hand. So you know if it's rotating in your hand, but yeah, they all fit very well. Like. You can tell this one that has flat surfaces on it. That way you can tell if it's rotating your hand and whatnot. So it's, you get a little bit more of an idea of indexing where your, your blade and edge are at. But yes, if you need some good tools, Focus or Carving, give them a shot. You'll like them, trust me. Great, great products, great tools.